What's up, y'all? It's Chelsea, and today I'm here to basically start documenting my painting process. I have no idea what I'm doing, but let's get into it. Okay, so usually with each of my pieces, I do a rough sketch of what I'm trying to paint in yellow. I don't know why yellow, but it's always yellow. And that's what you're about to see right now. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm gonna paint, oh my goodness, these parachute pants, bro. They've been doing the most, making the most noise. And for what, like, anyway. This is who I'm painting. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, This is my friend Esther. And we were on FaceTime the other day. And I was literally trying to take a picture on FaceTime the whole time because I knew I was gonna paint her because I just love her and I miss her because she is in a school far, far away from me. Yeah, so we're gonna paint her today. I plan on freehanding it, so let's see. I'm basically winging this whole video and winging the whole painting, but you know, down to see what happens. Let's get into it, let's get into it. Now for the paint that I use, Usually I use um, the brand Arteza and I always buy the 50 packs, but lately I've been doing, well actually usually I do at least 18 by 24 pieces. This here is an 18 by 24 canvas panel. And because that's like the minimum size that I do, that 50 pack of paint doesn't always work out because they come in like, these are the tubes that they come in. Um, I think they're pretty good, like, practice paints. I've been trying to, you know, get better and better at painting. And the better I get, I feel like the more I can kind of upgrade my paint. I'm pretty sure with this, like, the light fastness, I actually don't even know what that's called, y'all. I'm a fake painter, but... <laughs> yeah, the paint, like, kind of, like, doesn't last as long compared to other paints. I noticed, like, these plus signs and stuff, and they're on, like, every paint ever. But that just basically says like how long um the good quality of the paint will last like on the canvas for like five to ten years some is like 15 some is like 50 like excuse me but i need to get some of that but <laughs> so but with this paint um i just picked up some basic colors that i always use i tend to always use yellows browns greens and a little bit of kind of like red um, the only color that I don't ever use is literally this color. Like, I don't know why I bought this, but I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. That's not going to happen. But we're starting out with this yellow. Um, Master's Touch. Yellow Orker. Y'all didn't hear that from me. Um, <laughs> yellow, yeah. Y'all see it. $5.99. Get you some. But basically, I dedicate this whole tube just to my under sketches or whatever. I honestly don't plan my pieces that much. I mean, if I plan too much, then I start overthinking. So we don't want to do that. You're going to see me look ooh, at this iPad and it's going to be on the floor. Okay, let's get into it for real, for real.
we're back this is um this is like the rough sketch i did and now that i'm really looking at it i don't know how i feel about it just yet like i like it as a whole um but i'm comparing it to the reference and then i'm like mm. but at the same time i feel like it'll still give like the same energy as my friend in the end because that's what usually happens is that sometimes things are kind of off in the process but even if like something's off it's still kind of like makes sense hopefully i don't even know if that made sense but yeah i'm thinking about making this color the actual background because i think that would be really good with this kind of like I don't know, maybe I'm kind of biased because I'm always using this color and stuff, but I don't know. We might have to wait for this to dry. I might have to bring on my fan, my hair dryer. I might have to get that down because actually that's like my least favorite thing about painting is how long it takes for paint to dry. That's why I love acrylic. Ooh. I don't even know how I would use oil paint, honestly. I'm trying to think. There's something I was going to say. I got a mosquito bite. Yeah. So when this dries, I'm going to start kind of, I think I'm gonna start blocking out colors, but I don't know, cause that kind of scares me. My process kind of varies with every piece. Like sometimes I'll just start kind of blocking in every single shade that's on the face. Or sometimes I will just go in with one color, then build up. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do the one color and then build up. But let's wait for this to dry, and then we'll get right back. What's up y'all so it's the next day and this is what i have um but i was waiting for this paint to dry and then i fully fell asleep yeah so i feel like i'm getting to a point where i just need to stop talking and just start painting because yeah so i think we're gonna do that yeah.
Alright guys, so we have finished the piece. Um this is it. Yeah, I like it in general, but if I'm basing it off of my reference, then I could have done way better. I do like it a lot though. So let's do our debrief on like everything right now. First of all, this background, I have never used um, this specific brush I used for this background. Let me show you. So I have like, I have no idea, like six of these brushes and I have never used them before. And I was like, let me just play around a little bit. So I kind of like the texture that I added to the background, the hair. The eyes, actually the overall kind of like orange tone. I really like it, but I feel like something might have to pop more in like here, maybe the eyes. I add a little bit of highlight actually, like a really, really light orange and kind of put it in. I might actually do that um, right now, but yeah. Cause I like how the painting looks in person, but when I take a picture of it, it's very different, but you know i think it's okay my favorite part or part about this piece is probably like the green from the headphones to the shirt tied in with the background i really like that green is my favorite color though so i might be kind of biased but something that kind of weirds me out though was like this right here i don't know if you can see it i'll probably insert some clips that are very um that show an up close and personal view of the piece but this just looks like a weird mole and i don't know how i feel about it so i did notice that compared to my other paintings i use like a different way i use colors in a different way i don't know how to explain it but usually at the end i kind of throw in some yellows um just like random things yellows blues oranges reds but they're very harsh and not skin tone like um but i noticed in this piece I definitely kind of kept everything skin tone like and I don't know why I did that I'm not complaining about it but like I have never done that before um, well usually it's like either or for me it's either I do a skin tone and keep everything skin tone like or I do um, very uh, saturated colors but this one I feel like it's a mix of both which kind of weirds me out but you know it's okay I'm not gonna lie though, like if I didn't tell you these were headphones, I don't know if you would think these are headphones. Um, but I'm not mad about it though, because I just, I kind of like how it's cohesive with the shirt and everything. So I think I'm going to add in those little highlights and come back to you and then show off the finished product. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, I finished the painting for real this time and i'm liking it i'm liking it i rate it like a good like mm, seven out of ten i think it's like not one of my best pieces but i think it's one of my most like different pieces i don't know how to explain it it's just none of my pieces really look like this one but a lot of my pieces look similar to each other but this one stands out the most i think the only thing I don't really like about this is how I feel like I might do a little bit too much with the highlight. Uh, like in the eye area, eyebrow, cheek, nose. I don't know if I like it too much, but at the same time, it's not like I overdid it. And I also like the way it looks uh, compared to like before I added the highlighter. I, I'm pretty sure like guys i'm having a brain fart um what i'm trying to say is that i like the fact that i added the highlighter but i just don't know if it's too much yeah yeah all right well thank you guys for watching and i will be painting again bye